Okay, well, I'm at the Kingsville Beach again, my favorite beach, and I'm here to find some river rocks because I have a few commissions to paint a koala bear and to paint a hedgehog, and I'm so excited about getting started with that. So I wanted to come see if I could find some smooth, different shaped rocks to fit the shapes of the koala bear and the hedgehog. So I will be walking down the stairs and we'll, let's go see what we can find. It is looking a little bit more bare here without the leaves on the trees. And I think Angelique would be very proud of me. I'm wearing the right kind of boots this time. Right there. I'm wearing the right kind. I'm not wearing dress boots to go to the beach today. <laughs> She cracked me up when she said that. Actually, Angelique's not feeling very well today. She had two kind of bad seizures yesterday. And um, I gave her about three quarters of an Ativan. So today she wasn't, she, was, she wasn't feeling that well. She had a headache yesterday. And, um, whoa, what happened down here? There's like some tracks. See that there, something's been driving down here. Well, I came for river rocks or beach rocks and um, the waves are perfect for beach glass today though. So I'm wondering if there will be any. Huh, I don't, yeah. Must be making a road or something here. Right here, a really awesome piece of glass. So smooth. Very smooth and chunky. I'm looking for some rocks with nice shape to it and smooth to paint. So here's one. Really smooth. It's kind of kind of bumpy. I'll take it anyways. Well, I don't know what this is. Somebody made something here. I don't know what that is. Pretty one. I was talking to my mom and uh, she's 82 years old and she told me that today she was watching one of my videos so she has a new phone she's never been on the internet before right now that she has a new phone and she, she's learning how to use it and she's watching my videos so she told me she gave me a light so she was really proud of that so I'm grateful to her for watching my videos Cool house that's up there. Or cottage. I'm not sure. I like that one. Let me get out of the This one looks like a really nice one to paint. Have some in the bucket already. Nice and smooth. A triangle. 
Maybe I could figure out something to paint on that. Oh, there's a nice smooth one right there. Two, actually. I'm gonna leave these here because I'm running out of room in my hand. And then I'll bring the bucket. This is a, this one is a more rare color. A nice little one. This might be a nice rock. Nope, not a good rock. All those holes. But there's a piece of glass hiding under here. Another one here. Around trees and rocks, it's a good place to find beach glass because it gets caught up in the tree branches or behind rocks. And beach glass is light, so it usually sits on top of the rocks. There's one. one a beautiful green nice and smooth there's one here this is a lot bigger and very smooth and there's a tiny one right here But when you're doing a mosaic, the little tiny ones are good to fill in at the end. Little spots. So even though they're little, they seem like they're useless, but they're not. They're very useful. Oh, here's another. They're just laying on top of the rocks because they don't weigh as much as the rocks, so they just kind of float over and stay on top. Ooh, I see some here. Uh, this one is still sharp. Must be newer. But I see one here that's really nice. I don't know what that is. What it would have been. Looks like a stem. Oh, there's a nice piece. I could tell right now how frosty it is. It's very frosted. It's thick. Oh, this is... This is a keychain piece. It's flat, it's easy to send through the mail. This would make a perfect keychain. Oh, and another little green. Oh, and another green. <laughs> Three in a row. It is chilly out here. My hands are getting really cold, but still worth it. Oh my gosh. I gotta show you this one. Look at that. It's a nice white one. And then look at this. This is a, where is it? This is a thick, I think this is the th thickest piece of brown I've ever had. And it's being so frosty. Oh, look at that. Nice piece of white. Another piece of brown has a little bit of a looks like it has a bite taken out of it but it'll still work for something another little brown oh there's one a white I came here for rocks but I knew I wouldn't be able to pass up the beach glass just a note about the lady that ordered um a, uh, the painted rock of the hedgehog and the panda. Her name is Linda. 
think she lives in the UK and uh, she has an adopted koala bear, but she also has hedgehogs that come to her back door. And they are so cute. The koala bear is just beautiful. I'll have to, I'll show you a picture. Oh, my fingers look terrible. A little ceramic tile with a green, a little bit of a green pattern on it. There's a piece of glass. Must have been a bottle because there's a little design on it. Oh, la more glass white this is a perfect example of how it gets washed up near a tree or the rocks and you just just they all oh here's another piece of pottery right here and more glass Oh, and a white. Small. Yep, here must have been big weight, but I thought I saw a piece of glass here. Oh, there it is. Wow, look at the size of this one huge and it's smooth frosted and thick oh it looks like a ball like something's up down there I don't know what that is another one that looks like a look it looks quartzy I don't I don't know my rocks or my gems so I don't know what this is okay this bucket's getting a little bit heavy so I think I'm almost done have to walk up these stairs with this big heavy bucket right here okay so that, there's gonna be this flight and then the next flight almost kind of looks like the flower that I made in one of my in one of my uh, prior videos I hope I inspired somebody to make this Okay, here we go.
Okay, time for a rest. Before I, before I attempt these with the bucket. Whew. Yeah, you can tell winter is almost here. Look at that. I had a bucket of water on my porch this morning and it had a layer of ice on top of it. It's chilly out today, but I'll still take this over. Uh, <laughs> I'll still take this over the hot days of summer. You can only undress so far, but at least I can put more clothes on in the wintertime. Almost there. I sound like a horse walking up the stairs. And here I am, all done. I have to get back home. I'm gonna see if Angelique and Ricky wanna go for a walk now. Everybody at home is still sleeping, so I thought I would take off for an hour. Okay, in case anybody doesn't know, Angelique is my youngest daughter and she has a channel called My Journey to Be Seizure Free. And um, she started having seizures three years ago. I had to quit my job to stay home with her because her seizures are so random and unpredictable. I'm really trying to get my channel going. So if anybody can share or tell your friends or family to uh, just watch my videos. If they could just watch my videos and like them, I would be so grateful because every little bit helps and that would get me closer to being monetized. And uh, that would really help Angelique and myself out. Well, more me, it's my, that's my worry. I know it's not gonna be much money when I am, but it, every little bit is gonna help me out. And it helps me out that I'm able to stay home with uh, Angelique and help to take care of her. So, I really appreciate all of you and I appreciate all of your nice comments and and uh, all your well wishes for Angelique and for our whole family. So, I, thank you so much. I wanna see if I can get down to a different beach. I haven't been here for probably 10 years. Whoa. Ah, I did it. I think this is the beach that I found a red piece on one time. A red piece of glass. Oh, I see one. I see a real cool piece over here. Look at that. Right there. Isn't that pretty? And I don't have a bucket. I don't have a bag with me. But I have pockets. This is a different beach. Houses and cottages. I'm not sure what all that is. A piece of pottery. Okay, now take a look at this. Ooh, that's a nice one. I didn't find a lot, but I found a few. Two green, two green, two brown, and a white. I'm gonna go take a look at the boat. Another green. I can't believe what I just found. Look at that. Now that is rare. A purple piece. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. It was really nice coming to a different beach and seeing some different scenery. It feels different here compared to the other beach. And I have to walk my way up through here now. Ely Island Ferry Service, and then that's the Gmon, the big ferry. Takes you over to Peely Island. It's not much there. So a couple years ago, I took my bike over there, and there wasn't anything there except for a really bumpy road to ride on. I think there was a bar that was open. And other than that, there was just some beach area and really, really rocky roads. It was still fun. 
the ride there was a couple hours. The ride back was a couple hours on the ferry. So it was relaxing. These are different than the ones that I showed you in the other video that I have. Cool, this is all the nets. Wow. Some boats in Kingsville area. I knew they had a few, but I didn't know there were this many. Look at this guy here. equipment here. It's amazing the things that you find only 20 minutes away from your home. This is only 20 minutes. And I, don't know, I, I can't sit, I couldn't sit still today. I needed to go out and explore. My, one of my favorite things to do. My original YouTube channel was called Always an Adventure because it seemed like everything I did was always an adventure. So that's why I called that. But I still have a playlist called Always an Adventure because we're always out always out exploring all these fishing boats this part of this video to my brother John who just loves boats he loves the water and he loves fishing I know he would love to be on one of those boats in the summertime the tall ships were docked right there there were a couple of tall ships it was a party down here when the tall ships were here Okay, that was a really interesting walk. I enjoyed that, even though it was cold. It was still, even though it was cold, it was still fun. All right, there was something on the door. I just have to show you this. Okay, this old abandoned building here, I thought was kind of funny. How on the door it says, on the door it says, uh, sorry, we're closed. I thought that was kind of funny. 